Okay, hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks farming mini series review. Now in this review we're taking a look at a rare remote control model um, because this one you cannot actually hardly get anymore unless you go on to eBay. Um, now as you may have noticed the box is slightly um, damaged around the edges but that's how I received it from the previous owner. Um, but this model, I've been trying to get it for absolutely ages um, because I've got the other Siku Control 32 models uh, apart from the fence, which I don't think I'll be purchasing. Um, but this one, um, what it is, I used to have a friend who used to work on a farm um, where I used to do some photography work um, during the summer last year. And one day I was up there, this particular tractor was in being loaded. So I thought... I'm going to have to get hold of it and eventually um, I did manage to get it on eBay I think I got it for about £125 something like that um, so I was quite happy that I actually had finally got it so let's take a look at the box and we'll have a close look what it is now I've had to set the camcorder back um, so that you can see the entire box so I'll try and lift it as best I can but what I don't want to do is knock the camcorder out of this position that I've got it in now so, as you can see, it's a Sicko Control 32 radio controlled tractor. So, I'll just lift the box and we'll take a look at the description. So, it's in 130 second scale, and as you can see, it's a Deutsch Far Agrotron X720. So, as you can see there, we've got an image of the tractor that we're going to be taking a look at today. It is by Sicko, um, and as you can see, we've got the contents just there, so you get the tractor. Um, the battery, the charger, the wall charger and the remote control. So we'll just take a look at the size of the box. So obviously as we can see here we have a front view of the tractor. Now what I'll do, I'll just try and turn it around to the back. Like I said I've got the camcorder literally right next to where my arms are so I'm just trying to avoid knocking it. So as you can see on the back We've got an image of the Deutsch Far front view and the Deutsch Far back view um, showing you what works on this particular tractor. So as we can see, if we just take a look at these symbols, it's a radio controlled model, which we know. It's got adjustable digital proportional speed control, adjustable digital proportional steering, headlights, rear lights, working indicators and hazard warning lights, adjustable digital proportional rear coupling, um, one driving and two servo motors, an interchangeable rechargeable battery, um, obviously it's die cast 130 second scale, it can be used with all the Siku Pharma 132 products and it's also got a data interface for additional equipment. So I'll just place the box back down again and we will have a look at what is inside then. So as you can see, it's like the newest style of the Siku control boxes. Um, the previous review which I did on the Klaas Axion, that was the old style, um, with the plastic film over. So we'll just take it out of here and have a look at the model itself then. Okay, so first off we'll just take this foam tray off the top. Now it is about quarter past nine on a Friday morning. So... By the time you watch this review, um, this is pre-recorded as I'm doing it before I go to work later on. Um, so I thought it gives me something to do because I'm obviously I'm not due in work till half ten today. So I thought I'll get a review done and then it's done and dusted. So the first thing that we've got here is the battery. So as you can see, we've got a little switch that switches the battery on and off. So that goes into the tractor. And as you can see, we've just got a product code on the side just there. The next thing we've got is the charger. So the charger has two LEDs on here and these light up when the battery is fully charged. So as you can see we've also got a hole on the back there where the plug plugs into. So the battery goes in like that. Um, you switch it to the on position and it charges. So we'll just take that out of there. Put it to one side. So as you can see here, we have got the wall charger. 
he says. Ah, there we go. So as you can see, it's the three pin UK plug. Um, and we've also got the connector lead just here, which plugs into the, the back of your charger. The next thing that we have, it's like a little mini Christmas box, this is, is the remote control. Now, this is the newer style of remote control um, compared to the one in the Class Axiom review. Um, so, you've got your steering on this control here. Um, this is for if you've got an implement on, such as a trailer. You've got your forward and back, and you've also got your up and down for lifting the implement. I mean, I might have these the wrong way around, that might be forward and back, and this one might be up and down for the implement which I think it might be actually because that's quite free moving and this one's got a bit of uh, toughness in it so I think this is for your steering. Now you've also got two wheels here and um, this is obviously like for a tip of trailer or adjusting the steering. Um, you've got the channels so you can scan for whichever channel you chat to set to and you can set the channels to A, B or C. And you've also got the power button just here and um, I'll switch that off because we fitted batteries to it when I had it. Um, I have had it out of the box actually and just ran it in the loft just to test it um, on the loft floor. So like I say, we'll be moving to the kitchen area again in this review um, just to see the tractor in action. Um, now this particular remote control, I think it uses AAA batteries. It might be AA, but if there's an instruction manual in this box, I will show you that as well. Um, it's also infrared as well, this remote, so you can stand anywhere um, within the vicinity and control the tractor. Okay, so let's just move on to the tractor now, and I'll just make sure the instructions aren't hidden in the bottom of the box. Um, no, there's no instructions in there. So, I mean, I am used to the sickly control range, so it's not a major detriment. Um, I'm used to knowing what works what now on these models. Okay, so here we have the Deutschfahr Agrotron. And first off, I've got to say, it's got quite a bit of weight to it. And it is in such a stunning colour. Um, it's like a lime green, actually. So let's start with the front of the tractor and take a look at it. Okay, so as you can see on the front, and um, we've got some lamps on the top of the cab roof just here. Um, now it has actually got quite a wide body this particular tractor um, so I'll try and show you inside the cab in a minute when we turn it round. So as you can see on the bonnet um, we've got a grill of sorts. Now I think this is actually like, it's like a sort of paper stick on. Um, it's not like a etched grill like you'd have on a model railway locomotive or anything like that. Now as you can see we've got the words Deutsch Fahrt just there. And we have got the headlights just on the bottom there, if you can see that. Now those two light up, but unfortunately these five here, just on the grill, don't. Um, if you're wondering why I've got a plaster on my finger, um, I had a delivery yesterday. And it's one of those that was stapled together with like a long bronze sort of staple. And I was undoing the box and the staple went straight down my finger. So I've got it covered up today because um, otherwise work will probably ask me to cover it up um, because obviously food hygiene etc. So as you can see um, we've got an adjustable uh, hook link at the front of the tractor. Um, obviously you have to adjust that by hand. Now if you're ever running this tractor over two separate types of surfaces, um, always remember to lift this up and put it on the high setting. It's just so this bottom bit misses catching, otherwise your chapter will pretty get stuck. Now, let's see if the bonnet opens on this particular one. No, it doesn't. Um, because on the Klaas it did, but unfortunately it doesn't open on the Deutsch Far. So, let's turn the chapter around to the side now and have a look at it. So, as you can see, um, by now you've got four chunky tyres, two on either side. Um, so this is quite good like if you're running them outside um, because obviously you can drive over various surfaces. So as you can see on the side, um, we have the word Agrotron 
and X720. If you can just about see that, Oop, I nearly caught the cam, caught the tripod there. So I'll just try zooming in on that. Yeah, you can just about see X720 just there. That's the Agrotron wording. So we'll just zoom out of that for a moment. So as you can see, we've got some steps leading up to the cab where the driver enters the tractor. And we've also got some indicators and lights here as well. Now these don't light up, but it would be amazing if Siku brought a model out where they did light up. So taking a look at the inside of the cab, um, you can't actually see it too well because the glare off the wind outside is coming through every time we try and tilt it, but we'll try our best to have a look. So as you can see, we've got two flashing beacons on the top just here. Now these don't light up on this model, but they do on the newer models, so like your John Deere R series, um, probably the fence do as well. I mean, Siku might bring something out next year. I know they haven't brought any additional tractors out this year because they've only done a excavator for this year. So let's turn the tractor around to the back now. So as you can see on the back, um, we've got the word Deutsch Fahr, and we've also got a German number plate just there. And we've also got the brakes and indicators on the left and right hand sides, as you can see. And again, we've got some more lights um, dotted around the back of the cab window. Now, if you can just about see inside the tractor just there, um, you can just about see some of the detailing um, of the controls, but it's a bit hard to get it all in. So moving down, you can see an area where you've got all the um, link attachments, well, where they go actually, and that little plug there is where you plug your trailer or whatnot into, the little 3.5mm jack I think it is, that just plugs into there so that that gets controlled off your remote control when you're driving the tractor. As you can see here we also have the implement as well. Um, I mean you can move it by hand but it, like I say it is remote controlled anyway via the infrared technology. So moving around to the other side now. So as you can see um, we've got a bit of a better view just there. You can just about see inside the cab. Um, like I say, the light from the windows is causing a bit of glare this morning, as it's a bit overcast. But as you can see, there's nothing much different, um, apart from we've got the exhaust pipe on this side as well. Um, so we've got the steps again, and the Agritron X720 wording. Um, and as you can see also, we've got a sticker just going round the bonnet area just there. So what we'll do now... Um, I'll stop this half of the review and we will go into the kitchen dining area. I'll get my mini tripod set up and we will give this tractor a run. Okay, hey everyone, so I'm back. Um, we're in the kitchen dining area now. So what I'll do, I'll run the tractor past the camcorder um, at different angles um, just to show you it moving around. Um, and then that will be the end of today's review. But thank you very much for watching the review and let's get on with the running.
Okay, so that ends today's review. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again very soon.